Welcome back to Sport Engagement. My name is DZ and here with me I have uh, Palliative. Okay, now Palliative, we'll talk about this Premier League and the do- uh, point deduction for everything. What do you really see about this thing? You feel say it did normal as they don't do it for everything like this because we know say Chelsea and uh, Man City, like Man City especially, they don't do these uh, situations these days and we never hear anything concerning them say maybe they want to deduct their points. But what do you feel about this Everton point deduction? It is a day normal for them to do their point this season. Uh, well, if um, you know, if uh, what's it called the IFA about this um, FA Cup or this um, UEFA about the uh, charges and this thing, if they find anything guilty, I think they have the right to you know apply the rule uh, to them. So if it applies to Everton, I think it should apply to others that breach the uh, rules also so but the the problem is that uh, will premier league allow um you know we premier league deduct point from manchester city and chelsea you know maybe uh, a possible relegation threat because when you look at it let's be realistic it's all about money now and uh, you cannot remove um, the money manchester city and chelsea will generate for the premier league so I I would say yes, they can actually face a point deduction, a point deduction which is realistic. We have seen Juventus facing similar this thing. I think AS Roma actually uh, face similar issue too. I think when Mori was there, something like that. So um, if it applies to everything, it can apply to anybody. And uh, we know we have been hearing some rumor about breaching 115 um, uh, financial charges, blah blah blah, like that. Yes. So. Um, when it comes to money, we know uh, we never can tell. We never can tell. But let uh, let the um, association, the system, do their job, and you know it. Yeah, we out. yes, if they find out, I think uh, there is no escape to that. They will definitely get uh, some point deduction. But if there is no, um, if they if they are proving that okay, they are not guilty, mm-hmm. yes, they can go on with that. Uh, yeah. But now it's just about more. Yes, and the likes of Chelsea and uh, what was it called? Man and Man City. I think Guardiola have handled similar situation with Man City. I think last year, so it doesn't affect their game. Yeah. Even a point deduction, uh, ten point deduction from Manchester City game, we still sit number nine or number eight conveniently on the table. So let's say the ten point deduction yeah. won't win him the league, but he will still make top four. Yes, I'm confident. <laughs> yes, he's 28 points now. So a ten point deduction is just uh, 18 points, which he can easily cash up. Hmm? Do you get like that? So it's not a problem for Manchester. It might be a problem for Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Maybe to enter top ten or to enter yeah. top six should be difficult. Well, ten points is actually much of points. Yeah. So everything you know, from fourteen points to four point nine. So he yeah. is in the relegation zone right mm-hmm. now. You never can tell. And that ten point we actually tell in their game during the uh, towards the end of the season. So um, let's see. Let's wait for their investigation. And if you say uh, they will feel come out of like that relegation zone after being sitting 14th on the table, Ever now th- they are they are 19th right now with minus 10 points, and they are now four points just with uh, the last person. I can confidently say that everything will not go to relegation. You see that Luton Town, um, Sevy United, yeah, and Burnley, they are going back to where they are coming from. Even if it is one point, everything will es- escape relegation. I think the uh, the bottom the the, uh, the number twenty is four points. Yeah, everything yeah, is four, four, four points. points. Yes. So yes, yeah, someone ahead of them is six points. So if everything can win their next three games, hmm. yes. If if everything in the in, in their next five games, if 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 everything can get a possible uh, uh, let's say eight points, hmm. yes. So everything will move out of the zone. Yes, out of the out of the this thing, out of the next five games, if everything can get nine points, uh, everything will yes, that that that's um that's what that's thirteen points. Okay. We move out of the relegation soon. Okay. So in their next ten games, if it can gather let's say average of uh, twenty points, uh, or let's say twenty four points, it will easily move out of the you, relegation. You know, you know if you say this issue where you say they did all their points with all the effort where they don't put in for the start of the season, maybe go fear affect their games. Like the way, the, even the mentality of the players, the coach generally, and even the team. I think it's a mental test for Chelsea, uh, for um, for for the coach, not even Everton. It's a mental test for Everton because Everton has always been, you know, struggling team for a while after the departure of David Moyes. Let's say aside Ancelotti, yeah. do you understand? So it's a test 
for Sindaich to actually prove that you know he's mentally tough to handle this kind of situation because this thing right now depends on the coach because all match now they have to win it. Mm. Yes, 12 games gone out of 38 now, they have 26 games to go. Mm -hmm. So, their next 10, their next 10 games, yeah, their next 10 games now we actually prove if they will go out of the zone or not because now. Looting or Sheffield uh, United actually see someone below them, you know, be like, mm, yes, yes, at least we can still do it. Hmm? Them, so, but if their next 10 games they can carry themselves above, not even 15, if they can, not even 17 position, if they can move up 15, like 14. 15, 14, yes, there is still hope for them, like, yes, we have actually done something, which we actually divine their season. Hmm? So that is uh, everything. But talking about Chelsea and uh, yeah, Man City, City, let's wait for this thing. We, we can only guess here. We can only guess that this thing and that, so we never can tell what will happen. So let us find out. And I think uh, it cannot affect their team. It cannot actually affect either Man City or Chelsea. They cannot go to cannot relegation. Go to the only thing is that Man City will enter top four with ten point deduction, but Chelsea might not enter top ten. So <laughs> yeah, that that is that is the concern. There. Yes, with what's happening, Man City might not enter. Uh, Chelsea might not enter top ten. So let's wait for their decision. Uh, know uh, the uh, 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 before we can judge what uh, the I matter will be. Yes, yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. wait for UEFA decision and know how we can talk about it more next time. <laughs> okay, guys, everything facing ten point deduction after breaking the um, Premier League rules and um, I think financial fair play rules. And now Chelsea and Manchester City are on the verge of facing the same situation. Though Chelsea is still under. Um, they are still investigating on Chelsea's matter and, and also Manchester City. So let us know in the comment section, drop your own thought. Do you feel Chelsea and Manchester City should face the uh, financial play, fair play rules or they are to escape it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to follow, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We remain sport enjoyment. Thank you.